In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my instant buy authors. These are authors that when they come out with a book, I'm buying it. I don't care what the premise is. I, I don't care what the length is. Like I, I don't, I don't care. I'm buying it. I have a surprising amount of instant buy authors. And I will also say that some of these authors, I don't yet own all of their books, but that doesn't mean I haven't read all of them. Or if I haven't read all of them, I'm working on it. <laughs> so it's by no means to say that like I physically own every single one of their books because sometimes you don't have the money for that. But I've definitely read them all or I'm working on reading them all. This is not going to surprise anyone who's seen any of my other videos. Sherry LaPena. She is an old reliable is the best way I can describe it. She is a thriller author who writes mostly domestic thrillers. And you know what you're getting yourself into when you pick up a Sherry LaPena. Not that it's predictable by any means, but it's going to be quick chapters, fast paced, a lot going on, a lot of twists and turns. And that's what I want out of a thriller, which is why I say she is an old reliable and I will absolutely pick up any book she comes out with and know I'm going to have a good time. To go along with thrillers, I have Lucy Foley. This is The Guest List, which is my favorite of hers, but I do enjoy her thrillers. I will say they kind of follow the same format to the point of being a little repetitive. This is going to sound weird, but sometimes it's nice to know what you're getting yourself into. And anytime I'm in the mood for that format, for slowly unraveling events and a lot of different POVs, I pick up one of her books and I will always recommend her even though I haven't necessarily loved every book she's come out with. I do generally like her writing. Next up, this is an author who I'm working on reading all of her books, but I haven't read them all yet, but I absolutely need to. Emily Henry. Her writing, it's everything to me. I know people consider her a romance author. I really consider her more of just like a adult lit fiction type author I she's just it for me her writing just hits she is such a good writer her writing is so beautiful and the characters that she comes up with you are going to fall in love with five stars five stars another one that's totally unsurprising if you know me Taylor Jenkins Reid another amazing writer she just knows how to write a book I gave this book five stars. I gave The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo five stars. She can do no wrong, in my opinion. And I am working on reading the rest of her books. I'm excited to see what else she has. I know she has some romance. She has some adult lit. She's got all sorts of books. And I'm excited to see what else she has and to read the rest of her books for sure. My next instant by author, Hanya Yanagihara. I am currently reading The People in the Trees. I I'm obsessed with A Little Life and I definitely want to read her other book, which I can't remember the name of right now, but I think her writing is, again, amazing. Her books are intimidating and very long, I will say, but I love it. She is so unhinged. Like, that is the best way I can describe Hani Yanagihara, is I have these moments when I read her books where I'm just like, girl, what are you on? Like, genuinely, are you okay? But I love it. <laughs> Y'all already know. The Addicted series by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is all they write, literally. They have written the Addicted series and then they also wrote another series that is their kids. So I am currently working on finishing this series and then I will definitely move on to the other series that is an interconnected series. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. This next author, it's going to take a long time to read all of her books, but I definitely want to. Chloe Walsh, I love her writing. I love her ability to write full-fleshed characters that are so intriguing and that you fall in love with and you care for as if they're real people. This is a definition of they're real to me. She has a lot of other books outside of the Binding and Keeping 13 series and Saving Six, Redeeming Six, Taming Seven, like the whole Tommen series. She has other books and other series that I absolutely want to read. So she's got to be an auto buy. Last but not least, Alice Oseman. I have a love-hate relationship with Alice Oseman. <laughs> if you have seen 
my video where I read some of her books. I was not a big fan of those, but I love the Heartstopper series and I loved Loveless. Even though I don't always have the absolute best time with her books, she still has to be an auto buy for me. These are my auto buy authors. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my other content, so you should definitely stick around. We are a judgment-free zone, so if that sounds appealing to you, we would love to have you. And until next time, bye! <laughs>